Hey Simleys, it's Tilly Grissy here with Let's Play The Sims Philip Parenthood part 13? Yeah, part 13. And oh my gosh, I'm addicted to this LP. It's so much fun. I just, I just, I don't know. I'm just so attached to the characters now, like Clarice and Judy and all of them. And I'm like, no, I want Judy to die. And yeah, it's just, there's a lot of feels going on right now. Just a lot, a lot of feels. Uh, but I was reading the comments from the last part, which was only posted yesterday uh, or today, technically when I'm recording. Um, and there was some great ideas. Lil Zo or Lil Z or XO said maybe Judy should start a shop and when she passes away, it finally hits Clarice uh, that she has to fend for herself and Bailey and Clarice should carry on the shop and slowly become more free and lead a life like her mother. I thought that was a really lovely idea. Oh, look at that sun shining. How beautiful. Oh, and the leaves are falling. Oh, the heavens are shining below from above telling us it's Judy's time. No, let's not be dramatic. Let's let's stay chill. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, what else did I note here? Uh, oh, oh, this is a good one by Caitlin in Mayville. Have you tried doing a self portrait by putting a mirror next to Judy while she paints from reference? Just an idea, such a good idea. Thank you so much for that. We shall do that right now. And also, uh, amazing Addie said, I think when Judy passes away, Bailey should be rebellious, but nice. For example, she could take over the cooking and cook breakfast the night before for Clarice, but then get up early and ditch school. So that was, yeah, all interesting. Anyway, let's get into it. Enough chatting for now. Uh, that is the lovely portrait Judy did in the last part. And it looks like our little Bailey is having a good time on that violin. She'll be aging up to a teenager after this week. And of course I am aware we could age her up sooner, but I like, I like going with the age in the game for this let's play. Uh, not Clarice, here we go. So, Bailey. Yeah. Only three yeah. days until she ages up. You know, Judy could make it maybe. <sighs> oh, that lifespan's running out. The left span is running out. Anyways, it is Saturday, so no school today, which is nice. Uh, we'll just let Judy to, we'll let her sleep for a bit longer. What's here in Clarice's aspirations? <laughs> Socialize with a child 10 times, read to a child for a total of two hours. Hmm, we do want to fulfill that wish. Uh, that would be good. And Bailey's got a lot of whiz kid aspirations that we could fulfill uh. as well. Um... Anyway, to start off, let's just fulfill her needs and then she can do some homework after that. Hello. So that's all good and well. <laughs> Clarice, uh, may as well just max charisma skill to 10, level 10. Uh, maybe we should, Clarice, what, what do you want to do? Maybe we should ask the sim, shall we? Clarice, do you want to practice charisma uh -huh. skill? Oh, she said, uh-huh. Okay, she does want to practice charisma skill. See, sometimes you just got to ask the sim and they know and they respond. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, let's go over here, practice a speech gal, gal pal. Uh, you know what, Judy? You are doing okay. Let's just get you to have something to eat. In a beautiful blue nightgown. Nice. Also, what do you do to someone's room after they pass away? Actually, you know what? Let's not focus on this. Let's focus on Judy. She is our focus right now. And we'll also put a mirror up. It might be a little, a little bit difficult to figure out exactly how best to do this. Uh, I suppose we could go like, that's gonna get the easel stuck in it, isn't it? Maybe we should build a wall with a mirror behind it. Okay, so we'll put this painting somewhere. Uh, you know what, let's just, let's just put it, oh my gosh, we're running out of walls to put the paintings on. Just put it, actually that looks really bad, doesn't it? I know, I know you guys. <laughs> I know. We'll just put it there. Bailey's room can look a little bit cluttered because it's a kid's room. Uh, okay, what were we doing? We're over here, we've got the easel. Nice. This is actually really uh, slightly difficult to figure out how to do. Maybe I've got it, I've got it you guys. We'll put a whole wall of mirrors up. There we go. And then we can get lots of different angles. So move objects on. And that way she can do a self portrait. Gosh, I'm clever. You guys don't even need to comment down below to tell me. Um, why did I just do that? No, why would I try and, uh, no. Okay, there we are. All set up and ready for the self portrait to be done. Now we need to, I've just messed this up a bit, haven't I? 
need one more mirror. There we go. Excellent. So I've just used the move objects on cheat to fix up those mirrors. That should, I think we should be able to get a decent angle here. Hopefully. I mean, maybe we should box her in a bit. Maybe that's a better idea for us. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, we're allowed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know what? It's okay. We'll put this one there. There we go. And then we can sell them at the end so they can get their money back. I forgot that we're limited without cheats. <laughs> I had totally forgot about that. Alright, what's just, 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 just Judy having? Oh, that bread seems like it's lasted weeks. The cheesy bread. Just rearranging my mm. seating right now. Mm, I actually tried to do some cooking just before. I was going to make a zucchini slice. I started making it and realized I had no oh. eggs and I needed four eggs. And then I was going to do like a chicken casserole thing and realized that I had no lemons for the lemon juice in the casserole. And I was like, oh, why? So now I've got two like half made things in glad wrap. What is that? That looks really good. Is that an omelet? I've never seen an omelet made in like an ice cream cone shape. Yes, I would think that looks very funny too, Bailey. Oh, let's just say good morning, because as if she's not going to say good morning to her grandchild when she comes to the table. Oh, the lag. What is with the lag? Give a talking to you, heartfelt compliments. Uh, teach a valuable lesson. That's always a good thing to do. I think so. Ah, do you think so? Yabba horn and juke. Now it's important that you don't eat lots of fast food because fast food isn't good for you. You need home cooked meals to get good nutrients because you know exactly what you're putting in them. That's right, honey buns. Good girl. Okay, that was good. Alright, let's go over here and print from reference something large. Something larger than life. It's so funny how they get their charisma skill up by talking to themselves. Do you think that talking to yourself would help you with charisma or talking to others? I like talking to others would help you more. Ah, yay, she reached level 9. Okay, okay. How are we... Okay. Where are we? Where are we? What? It didn't work! No. This doesn't work, you guys. Because Judy is invisible. Oh my lord. She's invisible. The limit does not exist. The Judy does not exist. Uh. Alright, don't worry. I have a plan B. I have a plan B for us. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait. I really thought that might work. That's so sad. Okay. Well, the good news is we can get all our monies back. I'm quickly deleting this little thing we made. Oh, don't want to delete the easel. Easy does it on the easel. Ha ha ha. Do you guys get that? No, that was kind of funny. I, I can't tell you. I just, I just really love a good pun. Like a good pun makes me so happy. And it disappoints me because most people just roll their eyes when I think of a good pun. I'm like, at least appreciate the effort I just put into this life. Like seriously, that is effort. Not only is it effort, but it's genius too. So, you know? Just saying. Okay, this is my other idea. What we do is we get Judy to take a selfie. Let me just take a selfie. Take photo, take selfie. There we go. Let's go take a selfie. We might need to get a few so she doesn't have anything in the way. Oh, that is just, what does this do? Oh yes, we can make a spin. We can get the perfect background. There we go. Bad for we two. Ooh, do we want one black and white? Black and white. Ah! Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. This is what we want. Oh no, we probably should have gone portrait, yeah. hey? Because the painting will be portrait. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let me just take that selfie again. Here we go. Okay. All right, now a little bit to here, so we get that nice greenery in the background. That is absolutely stunning. One black and white, please. 
Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. There we go. Okay, then we go in here. And open these up. Oh no, it's tiny, but that's okay. That's okay. Delmice has already thought of this because we still have cheats to size up her picture. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do this. Paint from reference. Large painting. Here we go. Here we go, boys and girls. The self-portrait for the first time ever in The Sims 4. Oh, yeah. I mean, it might be a little bit fuzzy. But you get the general idea. Hmm. There we go. That's going to be amazing. Paint that, please. What a e nice, easy way to do a self-portrait. Oh, look! It's like the Mona Lisa if I ever saw it. Actually, oh wait, no, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I was about to say, wait, I have seen it. No, no I have never been to France. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice picture anyway. Maybe we'll put it up. Okay. I think the painting will be nicer though. Just the fact that she painted a self-portrait I think is nice. Uh, homework complete. What a girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. And actually, I think in the last part I was saying, ugh, she's not an A plus student. There's actually no A plus in The Sims 4, yes, I remember. Yes. I think a it's few of you guys commented it as well. So Trip my bad. Okay, um, what else have we got here? She's still feeling really loud, so we can continue to calm ourselves with classical music, which is good for helping us with our um, getting into those bonus traits. And I think what we'll do is we'll stop Clarice from doing that. I want her to harvest all of these because that's a really good little side business for us to get a little bit of extra money. Um, and you know what would have been cute if all of Judy's vegetables and harvesting actually allowed her to buy a shop? Because we technically don't really have enough money to buy a shop. However, we could get life insurance after she passes away, which means there would be a little bit of extra money. Uh, we could kind of cheat that in, so and then we could buy a shop or something for Clarice to look after. I quite love the idea of her stopping her business career to run the shop for Judy and then discovering, you know, a happier and more calmer life for herself. I think that would actually be really nice. So is that how garlics grow? Really? That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. And also from Judy talking to the plants, uh, off camera we were able to... Oh, what's it called? Um, oh, transform them? I can't remember. I want to sell them all. To sell all items in stack. What? That was only $20? Are you kidding me? Only twenty dollars mushrooms. Only a dollar per mushroom. That is so. Uh huh. That's right. Forty garlics equals eighty dollars. Slay. Oh, twenty of these. Awesome. So the yellow roses do quite well. Hmm. Good to know. Really good to know. I like it. Lack is a blast. Okay. Whoa. Did you finish that painting already? Oh my gosh, you guys! Is That is beautiful. I know it's like a bit, uh, there's a lot of texture going on there. Slash could have potentially been fuzziness. But I like to think of it as abstract art, you know? It's just beautiful. Uh, we can put this, I don't know where I want to put this. Oh, Binja! Let's maybe go to this. Size that down a little bit. Oh. Just making the memories is just making the memories. Hey, why can't I? Thank you. It's taking time, isn't it? I like I love having so many pictures and things around the house though. It's really nice. Eh, that photo looks so out of place there though. Maybe we can oh, we should have it in the office. Just up there while she's working. She's looking at Elliot and her while they were away. <laughs> Cute, right? Okay, that's just lovely. Uh, we'll also get Clarice. Oh, Clarice already Ooh. needs a nap. She's already uh -huh. quite tired out. That's all right. Um, after having a little nap, well, while she has a little nap, rather, we can get Judy to hang 
out with Bailey. Oh, and look at that. She's gonna work on that empathy skill. Lovely. How are we actually going, Bailey? How are you how are you doing? With your character values. So responsibilities absolutely skyrocketed. Like that's amazing. That's from doing homework, etc. Uh, empathy's a little low, but we definitely have one bonus trait, which I'm excited about. We could get Judy to maybe work on Bailey's manners a little bit. That could be good. Uh, let's see. Parenting. Encourage recent, well, encourage playing with the doctor. That's definitely a good thing. And yeah, teach play, teach to say please and thank you. <laughs> I love how Judy's just happy with the music. She's like, yeah, loud music, good time. She's not one of those parents who are like, please turn down the music. Good stuff, so her manners can go up and she can a little bit more. Thinking, oh, what else do we need to do before Judy passes away? I mean, she's, oh my God, I feel like that's so close to the end. It hasn't started sparkling yet, though, so she's okay. I'm sure it starts sparkling when time is almost up. I remember from Cody, Cody in my Sims 4 LP, I was so sad when he passed away, and I was like, no, it's sparkling. So devastating. Bonja? Ah, mana's growing. Oh yeah, mana's growing up quite a bit. If we teach to say sorry, I think... Oh, maybe sorry is to do Dota with emotional Beth. control. Parsakan Varnoosh. Pippa Wa. Strange doll houses. Mm. Maybe not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe empathy is. Yes, but what I do know Zaya is I love Sakaham. these two hanging out together. Like That's so cute. Maybe we should change Judy's mm. hair to grey. Uh, no. It'd make her look like she's aged a bit more. Yaga Horg and Juke. Kalu, Lama? I feel like, Kubeta? nah, we'll keep it the same. We'll keep it the same, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, well, let's just speed through this a little bit. I want to get that up quickly. Wow, it goes, it looks like it goes up pretty quickly. It was a lot lower before, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought she was still teaching her from the toilet then. Oh my gosh gonna say let's maybe oh maybe it's through the parenting that you get over that line that makes the sim fulfill um the aspiration of parenting because you know how it says sorry that made no sense but you know how it says have a child with a character value with a range within range to receive a trait bailey is in range uh to have a trait for one of her character values which is responsibility, but I don't think Judy was the one to get her over that line. Maybe if we teach her more manners. Oh gosh, why are you yelling? <laughs> why? Teach to say please and thank you again. Let's just see. Cause that would be really, like that would be such a nice, oh, that would be such a nice, nice milestone to achieve. Help a child with schoolwork for four hours. Bunch of I'm just speed this up and see if it works. Oh no, and Judy's tired as well. She needs nap nap time. Let's see. How are we going? Are we almost in? Oh my god, we're almost in range, you guys. So close. You can do it, Judy. Keep teaching all of your wise words and we will get there together. That's right. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Okay. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Don't say the D word. Is it okay to eat dirt? Eating dirt is really unhealthy. Uh, raises manners. Lowers emotional control. Well, we never had good emotional control anyway. If you do, kids may tease you. Ooh, raises manners, lowers empathy. Hmm. We have more emotional control and empathy. So that might be better. Go ahead. Eating dead is fun. Raises empathy. Lowers manners. My god. Uh, let's go this one. Thanks for the advice. Yay. Manners increase. Yay. Look, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Her manners are through the roof. That's so exciting. That means she's going to get two bonus traits. Oh, my gosh. Where... 
We are st we're so close to having the perfect child. Oh <gasps> my God, it's even closer to the end. Why? Why? Okay, did we? Oh, it's still, it didn't tick this. I don't think it works. So sad. Well, anyway, maybe what we could actually do is just read to Bailey for a little while because I know Grandma Judy is really tired, but hello, you don't have a whole lot of time. So can we, oh, how do we read to a child? Become best friends. Yes. Oh, they're playing dolls together. <laughs> oh, it's just too much. It's just too much. Uh, read together. Oh, we got to see this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Oh, they're best friends. Oh my God! Judy and Clarice have fallen out of touch, and they're no longer best friends. Oh, and Bailey and Sylvia have fallen out of touch. Oh, come on, guys! Does it really have to be that cutthroat? Seriously. Okay, I just want to figure out how do you read to a kid? That's with BFF. Oh my God. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. I don't know how to... We don't want to do brag about grades. <gasps> Judy Barker's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get her affairs in order. Well, her, well we have been getting her affairs in order. Oh my God, please don't be sparkling. Oh my God. We had so much of a gap and there's so little now. <laughs> She's sleeping very peacefully, though, despite there being so much noise. Oh. You know what? Maybe Bailey should do a, a nice little picture for her grandma. Maybe she can draw a self-portrait of Judy, just like Judy drew one for her. That would be really nice. Well, Clarice can... What's Clarice doing? Clean with vigor. She's like, my, da my daughter's desk is so dirty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, girl. <laughs> oh, look! That's Grandma Judy! With a pasta piece as a belly button by the looks of it. That's a beautiful picture, Bailey. It looks just like Grandma Judy. Oh, how nice. How nice. We'll be able to gift it to her when she wakes up. What a nice picture. Wow. Okay, let's put that, let's put it up in Grandma Judy's room. Actually, you know what would be cute? If we put it right next to her self-portrait. <laughs> who, who drew it better? <laughs> oh. Okay, I think we may as well, wait, how is Bailey going in terms of tiredness? I mean, it's like 10 o'clock right now. Yeah, she needs to be put to bed. So instead of her putting herself to bed, I'm gonna get Clarice to turn that off and then she can put Bailey to bed herself. All right. Good night, honey buns. You wanna blush? Join us, Sleep tight. Aw, bunja. Oh, that's Who sweet. We know? <laughs> okay, good night, honey. Clarice is so awake. She may as well make her business calls, hey? Just to be ready for next week. Oh, gosh. Oh, not the tap now. It's funny that you can make business calls at 10.50 on a Saturday night. I don't think many businesses would allow that. Oh, and she's pretty hungry as well. Oh. Uh, I might just let her sleep until morning. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to leave this part right here. It sounds like the next part is definitely uh, Judy's last part in this LP. Oh, my God. She's sparkling. I can't deal. I can't deal. All right, you guys. Uh, in the next part, Judy will embrace the normal way of life, I suppose. And that will be very peaceful and all good. And then she'll still be hanging around as a ghost. So... That is not the end of Judy. We could also have a boat to see if we should try and wish with the wishing well to see if she could come back to life or something. Um, but anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.